So back with you, it's me, Jesse T. And we haven't spent too much time together. I've been basically in Chinese plague bioweapon lockdown. And I'm just starting to come out of it. I really had to take it seriously because I am one of the groups that this crazy Chinese plague and weapon they imparted upon America uh, really attacks, and that is uh, dealing with my immune system. As you remember, last year in 2019, I got rocked real hard, uh, and I was in the hospital for like five and a half weeks, almost died, and my immune system got beat up pretty good, so I have to be very conscientious about that, and so this, uh, this stuff does attack aged people and seniors and people that have health conditions and immune system uh, challenges. And so uh, I have that uh, still recovering, but I am recovering. But so I've, I've taken this stuff really seriously. Other than that, really, um, 0.005% of Americans have died. It's unbelievable. Uh, they don't talk about that. And the great Donald Trump did such a great job in locking this stuff down. And you know, in Nigeria, out of 45 million people, only uh, 97 have died because they've been taking hydroxychloride for malaria for decades. And their whole population has had it. So President Trump was right about that too. But nevertheless, the reason why I'm hooking up tonight on the Jesse T Show, let you know we just ain't to deal with a brand new uh, network called USA Talk Network. And also, uh, we are going to be uh, a podcasting, broadcasting there, but we're also going to be reenacting not only the Jesse T Talk Show there, entertainment talk show, we're going to be doing the Jesse T, you know, uh, music show and fun show. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to be uh, working out of uh, one of the new studios I put together. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, some great mixing music from the 1980s when I was part of the original 1580 KDAY crew in Los Angeles for 10 years, bringing on what they call freestyle now. It was called high energy then and hip-hop, rap, dance music. And we're going to be doing that with one of the original guys, uh, uh, Hayes, the Hayes Lye brother, talking about uh, the guy who was the front man for the movement. And, are you ready? If you ever been to a Laker Clippers game or NBA game of the past and you heard that, that was Hayes and uh, the song Jump Everybody. But anyhow, big hit. So we'll be bringing that back and doing some live stuff with some uh, new artists, some artists from the past, getting them to come in and, and hang out with us while we mix some of their music and uh, take some calls and some face-to-face uh, -face stuff with you guys interactive it's going to be a lot of fun so i'll let you know more about that but i am wanting to talk to you about one specific thing here's my here's my theory and prediction as to what's going to happen and why we are where we are at in 2020. this is going to knock some of you people off your chair and you're going to say well you jesse t again you're just talking your talk no you know i've been right spot on everything so listen closely. This is what it's all about. I'm going to break it down to you very easily because it's very, very detailed. And I could talk about this for hours and days, but I'm going to try to break it down to you nice and easy. <laughs> sort of like Tina Turner used to do in her live performance uh, we're going to bring it to you nice and easy at first. But anyway, the, um, the globalists are constantly battling between each other. The elitists, the Illuminati, the Trilateral Commission, whatever you want to call them. A rose by other, any other name is a rose. And they battle amongst each other on this giant chessboard they call planet Earth for power and control, money and wealth they already have beyond Amherst, beyond our understanding of money and wealth. I mean, they got money and wealth that make Bill Gates look like a pauper. 
Okay? Seriously. Bezos looked like a popular. So power and control of the planet, the empire, Earth, is what it's all about. And you have different factions, about 13 different families or so. They vie for power and control, parts of the Earth. And now they're vying for power and control on who's going to dominate planet Earth. And in order to do that, they've got to bring down America's middle class. Got to break the back, the will, the spirit of the greatest nation ever to be created by the hand of God. And they've been pecking at it and pecking at it and pecking at it since the end of the Civil War. Now they have the technology and the know and the experience that they put together a package. And the package was this. Let's attack the health of the Western world we own the media. Let's propagandize a storyline so that everybody in the world becomes fearful and in Western world becomes fearful. The capitalist world, remember that word, becomes fearful and it infiltrates America, the leader of the capitalist world, so that we can attack them economically and shut them down using the communists, the Marxist communists, the Maoist communists. Communism comes in two flavors. Marxists from Russia, Maoists from China. They're vastly different. They hold the same name, but they're different. Sort of like a bicycle tire and a car tire. They're a tire, but they're different. Utilizing them and let's create a situation by which we break the spirit and the will of the back of the United States of America and the rest of the Western world so that they will capitulate and become part of this new world order, this one world economy, this restart that we want to do. We've got the ability, let's throw it all of them at once. So we're going to have Clinton in his first term sign a promise and executive order legislatively that America will never be a first strike against anybody in nuclear weapons. We will take the first hit before we strike back, which he did. So we will never launch first strike. Keep that in mind. And in his second term, Clinton said, well, we're going to give you a little bit more because, you know, he's owned by the corporations, which are owned by the banks, which are owned by the insurance companies, which are owned by the global elitists. So he's bought and paid for. Second term, he signs an act legislatively that we keep all of our subs, 50% of our subs, ballistic subs, have to stay in dock. Only 50% of them can be out in the oceans roaming the seas at any given time. And did you know the warheads on the ICBM missiles on our ballistic submarines cannot penetrate a hardened silo or shelter? Can't do it. They're not big enough, thick enough, strong enough. But their first strike weapons can. So the first strike is going to be against America. I'll tell you by who in a second. So we have America trying to recover. Everybody's fearful. Everybody wears these masks, of which only 0.05% die. And if you're under the age of 19, you have a 99.99999% chance of living. But it only attacks old, aged people, people with serious health conditions, and people that have immune challenges. Let's destroy their economy, scare the world, control the media, pump the story. Our socialist, Marxist, 
corrupt government officials will follow along and let's create using the Marxist ideology that Karl Marx developed in 1848 in Paris uh, uh, on a book called The Little Boy or Little Play he was thrown out of Paris then he went to England he was thrown out of England because he was a rebel rouser he and his benefactor and they isolated himself and went into hiding in Russia until Lenin came around and the Bolshevik Revolution by then Karl Marx was an old guy and he died and Lenin took it on then into Stalin and into Brezhnev. So let's utilize this act. And since we control the first strike, let's have the communists manifesto that Karl Marx wrote attack religion attack race, black against white, attack health, and control the propaganda or the media. Let's make that happen and create civil war in America, race war, destroying the capitalist ideology of America, destroying the education system of America, Destroying the ide the ideological understanding of how great this country is and Americanism and our heritage. And while they're dealing with that, let's shoot a first strike attack, knock out their military and force America to join the new global one world government and economy. And by the way, the, the, the Lee fam family, L-I, Lee family in China are their global elitists that control all of Asia. So we'll use them and we'll collectively destroy America and then we'll destroy communism because we will then own the Western world completely under one world government and we can start depopulation like we've done in Africa and depopulate the planet Earth by any means. Now, there it is. That's exactly what they're doing. I predict seven to ten years we're going to be World War III with China. They're going to first strike us. What you going to do? Jesse T, let me know what you think.